Hi everyone, what's up? Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the ever popular Bitzera BZ10 espresso machine. Now this is a machine that's been on the market and dominating in that middle of the range for heat exchanging home espresso machines for some time. And the Bitzera BZ10 is a standout for its compact size and that classic Italian look. Capable of brewing cafe quality espresso, it has some great features to it unique to the Bitzera brand and this model in particular. But before we get into it, if you haven't already done so, click smash or hit that like button as the YouTube algorithm loves it, so do we. Then hit that subscribe button and you will stay notified when we bring out new videos, which is just like this every week. Now, with that out of the way, let's dive into the BZ10 specs to understand why this is a machine that's so sought after. So first up, to take a look at the dimensions of the Bitzera BZ10, as it's known for being a compact machine and it's not gonna have any troubles finding a place on your kitchen bench. It stands at 38 centimeters tall, but keep an extra 24 centimeters above that if you do want to remove that water tank. It's 43 centimeters deep, except you could get away with 40 centimeters with that drip tray overhanging as the feet are that close together. But it is the width of the machine that is the real benefit. At only 23 centimeters across, it's gonna leave you plenty of room to then include an espresso grinder and still not take up too much space across the bench. Now, Bezzera are a uniquely Italian espresso machine company who overlook the complete manufacturing of all of their machines within Italy, with every part of the production phase from the assembly to the final inspection carried out in their in-house facilities. And this provides a reliability of authenticity to the Italian-made slogan, and it really is seen in the final product. Dressed in the polished stainless steel, don't be fooled by the size of this machine, as it's still around 19 kilograms in weight, and boasts it's a huge top loading three liter water reservoir, which is one of the largest water tanks for any home espresso machine. And it has a weight based water alarm on it, so you know when you run out of water quite easily. Still up top, you have a decent cup tray being passively warmed up by that boiler below. Taking a look inside the machine, you have a simple yet quiet vibratory pump to bring water from the tank to the large 1.5 litre heat exchanging boiler. This is a nickel plated copper boiler powered off of 1400 watts, which gives it plenty of power for quick recovery times between shots. And the heat up times on the BZ10 are easily under eight minutes to get going. Key to this speedy routine is Bezzera's own design to the group head. So it's moving away from an E61 group where there's a channel that cycles hot water from the boiler through the group and then back out to the boiler as a way to heat up that large chunk of metal on the front of the machine. But what Bezzera have opted in for in the BZ10 instead is for an electronically heated group head coupled with a thermostat sitting at the back. So when you switch the machine on, there are dual heating elements that go to work in heating up this group head independently, quicker than a traditional E61 group relying on the boiler. And this design assists with more stable brewing temperatures for your espresso throughout the extraction. And looking down at the front of the machine, there's a minimalist feel to the controls on the BZ10. Noticeably, there's no PID or settings to manage, but an on and off switch in the far left, and then your brew switch that controls the pump for brewing espresso on the right and a green light means the machine is on, and that yellow light indicates there's enough water in the water tank. And there's no indication of what heating cycle the BZ10 is at, but you can usually hear the boiler if it is heating up, if that's the case. Next, you have that 360 degree and lockable any which way steam tap with plenty of steam power behind it and a steam wand that's on a ball joint so you can move it into any position. There's also a two hole steam tip. You have that 360 degree hot water tap too. With that hot water coming straight out of the boiler, it is hot. Great for brewing tea. I would let it sit some before sipping on an Americano or a long black. And to cover off those last little details of the BZ10 before we start brewing, you have a dual manometer gauge with that top half being your boiler pressure and the bottom half being your pump or your brewing pressure. Directly below that is an outlet to the three-way solenoid valve. Now, the most recent models of the BZ10 now come with an extension to this outlet to ensure there's very limited splashing every time you turn your shot off into that drip tray and straight into that drip tray, which is nice and large and made from stainless steel. This is easy to remove and simple to keep clean. 
and the BZ10 also has an anti-vacuum valve installed within it, which means the machine is safe to plug into one of those electronic timers at a wall socket as a way to have the BZ10 turning on and off automatically throughout the day so it can be ready for you when you wake up. There's also an adjustable OPV and this overpressure valve controls the maximum pressures within the machine system and ultimately the brewing temperatures as well. Now, if you're looking to shop the BZ10, you can from following this link up above, but let's now brew an espresso on it and see how it performs. So you have a choice of a single spouted porter filter with a 10 gram filter basket or a double spouted porter filter with a 20 gram filter basket. Though you could probably fit 22 grams in here. 20 grams is the way to go and it's great that Pizzeria includes such a large filter basket in the package. The other highlight to the accessories is an actual metal blind filter basket to assist in back flushing the machine, though you will want to get a separate tamp to replace the plastic one you get in the box. So with 20 grams of ground coffee in the basket, it's great that the double porter filter is angled so you can get a nice flat tamp on top of the bench rather than having to put it on the edge. Lock this into your group head, you simply need to hit the switch to begin brewing. You do miss those subtle things on the BZ10 like a shot timer, but with a good set of espresso scales, this is usually included. And the BZ10 brews exceptional quality espresso, which isn't surprising given Bitzera's 100 years of producing espresso machines. The unique group head keeps temperatures very stable throughout the extraction, ideal for brewing flavorful, rich, and balanced espressos. I haven't had any issue with the extraction without a PID or temperature controls, but I would recommend the occasional temperature surfacing during long periods of inactivity whilst the machine is left on. And when it comes to steaming, you have no shortage of power from that large boiler and it's quick to offer strong steam and then keeps going and going. The heat exchanging boiler allows you to brew espresso and steam milk at the same time and that steam wand being adjustable helps you get comfortable and then in the right position to get that perfect texture you're after every time. Great for a beginner or the advanced. Now, for a machine that's almost 20% smaller in footprint than an E61 group head machine at around the same price point, but Zera have done a great job tuning this machine for performance. And that's the Betzera BZ10 espresso machine for you. And I think when you buy a Betzera espresso machine, the fact that it is a genuine Italian made espresso machine with a rich history focused in quality manufacturing and brewing delicious espresso, there are little things like shot timers, PID controls and cool touch steam ones that could improve this overall setup significantly, but the end result in the cup would still be the same. And as it stands, the Bitzera BZ10 brews delicious espressos. It's a reliable machine and easy to service, and that's why this machine remains popular year in, year out. So if you have any questions on the Bitzera BZ10, throw them in the comments section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Thanks for watching to the end of this video, and we'll see you in the next one.